Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your weekly career and finance reading. I know I normally do a Sunday self-improvement, but it's so hit or miss as to what people want, and it seems to be clickbait romance and love. So I already did that, and I just, I don't know. I think career and finance, especially now, is pretty important. So that's what I'm going to be doing, Gemini. We're going to start with the Spellcasting Oracle card. I'm not going to read the uh, whole book page. I will let you screenshot it if you're interested in the spell. If you enjoy the reading or if it resonates, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. And Gemini, thank you for being here. And don't forget, I'm one of you. <laughs> oh, well, that's a lot of cards. Gemini. That's too many. I'm not doing three cards. Gemini, career and finance, seven, six, sorry, Gemini, five. There we go. I could do two cards. I can't do four. <gasps> Inspiration. Don't laugh. All I could think of is, I don't know. Most of you are too young for this, but there's a very old Doris Day, Rock Hudson movie, and it's uh, about a party line, and he sings, you are my inspiration. And then he adds the woman's name. I want to say it's pillow talk. It is hysterical. But anyway, I'm so sorry. That's what came to mind was inspiration. And her hand is over. I find it interesting. Look at the way her hand is placed. And now this would be her left hand over her left breast. But her right hand has light. And it's making me think of Reiki. I didn't look at the book yet, so I don't know. And life purpose. Now, I don't know about you other Geminis, but I keep feeling like I'm missing something. And here, I'm gonna have to show you this, especially being this is the week of Halloween. I always get such a kick at it. Here's the moon, but wait, do this. And now it looks like the moon is here, but maybe, I don't know. If it wasn't for the words being there, I would have to flip this a few times before I was convinced. So we have inspiration and life purpose. And, uh, if this resonates, you got to let me know, please. I'm finding that a lot of things are, uh, I don't know. It's a little weird world, the world right now. Inspiration. The short story, meditate daily, start a new project, write, paint, draw, get creative. Definitely Gemini, right? Get out into nature. Life purpose, it does show a tree. Take long hilly walks and blow the cobwebs away for clarity of mind. I actually stuck my head in a cobweb today. That was not a good moment for me. I freaked out. And the worst part is my friend says, that's where, and she named the spider, lives. <laughs> oh, life purpose. This is also so you can screen shoot this one if you'd like. It says the spiritual experience changes your view. Trust your intuition, a new venture beckons, consider your options carefully, seek adventure, embrace your life to the full which that's, they're, they're pretty on point in both cases. But I'm wondering if there's a, like one of you or some of you are meant to be healers because Reiki is healing. And healing, I'm learning a lot, Gemini, that healing is not just like healing like a doctor, like you put a Band-Aid on and put something on for, gem, you know, for the, the wound. Healing is, there's mental healing and there's, there's emotional healing and there's so many things that we can do for one another. And I think that maybe, especially because it did talk about writing. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I do have some other creative things that I enjoy doing. And I'm finding that it does speak to other people. So <laughs> I don't know, Gemini. I, I'm wondering if uh, this, this brutal 2020 thing is going to result in us finding our true purpose. Maybe it's nothing that we expect. And look at that Knight of Wands. He charges in with passion. He's passionate. He's, he's on the path. So this to me means that some of us may actually have a clue what this passion or purpose is. We may not be certain. And I want to say we don't, we aren't necessarily certain. So I'm trying to find the, <laughs> the little ridge in there. I, I want to say we're not certain only because he's going backwards. He's not going forward. And you see, here we have the Four of Cups. And depending on which Four of Cups I get, he is not looking at it. So to me, this means we've been given a glimpse. We have some idea of what it is. We just haven't gotten to the point where we truly believe it. And apparently it's going to take a tower moment, which 
I wouldn't be surprised if you've already had one this year or within the last year. Saturn has been doing a job on us Geminis, uh, career-wise. So I get the sneaking suspicion that we're going to be forced to find it. But that's a good thing because <laughs> from that utter, complete destruction of the tower, of everything that we're comfortable with falling, we do come back up and we are successful. This is a celebration. So it's going to be painful. We're going to feel lost and forlorn. But look at where we go. We have the King of Cups. This, this to me, and then the Emperor. And we finish with the Page of Pentacles. So to me, this says, Gemini, that we are going to have a tower moment. And we thought we passionately were doing something maybe we did have an offer. We don't see the opportunities. It's going to take the world crashing down, basically. Something's going to happen. And believe it or not, it's going to lead to our success. And now we have the King of Cups, and he's emotionally stable. So maybe our success comes when we become emotionally stable. I know a lot of people are not very emotionally stable. This is a very trying time in our, in all of our lives. And then you have the Emperor. So to me, it's... It's almost like saying that you succeed as you grow as a person. And that's when you start anew with this page of pentacles. And that's, that's basically all I could think of right now. So just a quick check here. I want to see one thing. See, certain suits are known for certain thing. Now, the King of Cups, you could be dealing with a boss who is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And that is the person who's going to give you this success. This is the person who's going to give you that leg up. It says, like Neptune, the King of Cups, reigns over the sea. His authority calms turbulent waters. He's creative and compassionate, often a doctor or counselor. But Neptune also, if I remember, I want to say rules, or is that Mars? Neptune rules Pisces. So I'm wondering if the opportunity comes with or from a water sign because that would definitely make sense and it did talk about us being creative correct so um, as for the Emperor he's associated with the sign of Aries which Aries is usually a good combination for us uh, earthly father depicted as an enthroned Roman Emperor the pro oh, well when this one it's a little different but it's somebody who's got oh it suggests material wealth Discipline, visionary, keeps his emotions under wrap, can indicate a desire for independence. Now, I don't know about you. I think this truly, sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> the desire for independence. I don't know about you, but so many people now are looking to work on their own. And that's the emperor. I really believe that we are working, many uh, Geminis, will be working to be their own bosses. They are they are leaving something that, although it may have seemed like it was a gift, it wasn't, and it didn't make them happy, and they needed to find their purpose, and their, so they're looking for inspiration. And of course, the Page of Pentacles, what is the Page of Pentacles? He's learning. So I believe that what's going to happen is there's going to be this opportunity to learn. This is not something like you already know how to do it. I think that you are going to pursue, pursue something that this, whatever this is, you're going to pursue it, but it's going to involve learning. It's not something you really know yet. You may have some, I don't know. I just started this channel not too long ago. You know, I mean, <laughs> in my perfect world, this is it. You know, and I succeed and it's my purpose to help people, you know, whether it's the readings or it's the little chit chat that goes around it, talking about the law of attraction and, and believing in yourself and, you know, being willing to learn at any age. I think that's so important. So whether you're meant to be a healer or you're meant to whatever, whatever this new thing you're doing on your own is, Gemini. Have faith in yourself. It looks like a, a wonderful start. It's going to be a little painful, it looks like, but it's definitely going to be worth it. So use your own, you know, best judgment. Do your due diligence. Check into everything. And uh, good luck. Thank you, Gemini. Take care.